Hello, and welcome back to Hollow Knight with Brian. Last time, we managed to get Fluke Nest after defeating the Fluke Marm. And I was reordering my notches and charms, but I just want to try this thing out. And so I think we'll put it on. And then since I have an extra spot, I'll go ahead and put on Grub Song as well. Uh, but basically, this one transforms the Vengeful Spirit spell into a horde of volatile baby flukes. <laughs> uh, sounds like it could be fun. Uh, looking at the map, it looks like there are still ways to go to the right. Um, I do want to get back and spend some money. Oops, alright. Alright, all kinds of guys who are just going to go fall in the pit. There they go. That's fine by me. Um, yeah, I do want to go spend some money, and so I do want to try to get back to places that are kind of more well-known at some point in the near future. Okay, this looks like it'll go back up to the other screen where I originally came from, although I don't know that I've been to this section of that screen. Hello, Bellfly. Goodbye, Bellfly. And I guess let's try... Oh, I don't have any... Right. I don't have any, uh any spirit, any soul, in order to actually try out my spell, and now I just took a bunch of damage, and I might want to heal. Uh, let's try it out anyway. <laughs> uh, that did not seem that good. Horde of volatile baby flukes. Maybe if they hit something, they explode, and that's what it means by volatile, or maybe... Using it in the waterway is not the best place to use it. I'm not sure, but that was less than impressive. Um, I guess we'll probably try to try it out uh, once more in a moment. I would not mind trying to just get some more soul by hitting a few enemies up here, but it doesn't look like that this is the correct way to go. So I am going to head back down, because it does look like there are more ways to explore to the right over here. Yeah. So let's try to go this way. Oh, hello. Alright, let's try this here. Uh, hey, come back. Alright. Yeah. That spell seems kind of weak sauce. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know that that's one that's worth using. So perhaps I'll go back to a bench shortly. And, ugh! <laughs> change my equipment again. Alright, we have some noises around here. Let's see what we got. <laughs> Someone sounds rather jolly. Let's see, what happens if we head down here? You could probably guess what's gonna happen. Of course, it's gonna be a boss battle! The Dung Defender! Okay, I'm not at all prepared for this battle. <laughs> As you can maybe tell. Uh, I didn't even have maximum health to start. We'll try to heal up a little bit now. Doma Doma! Ha ha ha! This guy is a lot of fun though. <laughs> Just because he's one of the kind of more joyful of the warriors. Uh, and the music is just, it's just insane. <laughs> Doma Doma! Doma Doma! Oh! Alright, so he's like a dung beetle and he's throwing dung at us. Oh! Alright, hey, look at that. I managed to stun him, get a heal on. I'm actually doing a lot better in this battle than I thought I would, especially starting from the position that I was starting in. Alright, let's get ready for him to jump up. And I guess let's try... Oops, my little fluke worm something. Alright, that didn't seem to work very well. Uh, let's try to heal again. Oops, scrap. Let's try to heal again, I said. Alright, I used up my soul. I healed up a little bit. Alright, and I can kind of deflect his, uh... There's a lot of shots, actually, in this game that you can parry. Uh, if you aim your sword at just the right moment. Alright, let's try to heal up again, and hope that he doesn't come out right on top of me. Alright, that was actually pretty good. Alright, 
Oh, cool. I knocked him out for moments. I'll give you a chance to heal. Ah, darn it. Except for then I ran right into the... Ah, hundo! Hoi! Ha ha! <laughs> this guy's just so much fun. He's so enthusiastic. It's hard not to like a boss who's this enthusiastic, right? Okay. Took a moment to heal there. That's good. Might have hit him with my thorns. Great. And now I can heal again. Heal. 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 Great. Doma Doma! <laughs> okay. Yep. Okay. Avoid the dung balls. <laughs> Words you didn't expect to say when you woke up in the morning. Avoid the dung balls. But here we are. Okay. I need to heal. Alright. Let's hope for the best. Okay. That was good. He did not give me any collision damage right there. Oh, crap. Uh, Alright. I need to heal again. Uh, crap, what's the button? <laughs> I've only played 50 game, fifty hours of this game. Uh, I can't be expected to know what button to press in order to heal. That's just too much to ask. Alright, jump out. Oh, crap, darn it. Alright, here we go. Ouch, no, 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 no. Quit hitting me with dung balls. Ah! <laughs> Alright, I managed to get some more healing. Alright, yes! Nice! <laughs> I did not expect to win this battle. I was coming off here to show him off with the expectation of coming again in the future. Um, but that went better than expected. And we get the Defender's Crest. Which is a new charm. And a unique charm bestowed by the King of Hallownest and his mo to his most loyal knight. Scratched and dirty but still cared for. Causes the bearer to emit a heroic odor. <laughs> Ah, uh, we have to be at a bench to equip it. And then up here, uh, there is some kind of device that starts spinning and causes some water to like get sucked up from somewhere. There's some kind of shortcut over here. And I think, I've never done this myself, but I think there's supposed to be a secret room down here. Yes. And I think this secret room uh, ooh, what is this? Oh, King's Idol. All right. Uh, I think this shows off some more of kind of like the lore and backstory. Um, I think these are supposed to be statues of like the five great knights of the king. And I think the one on the right is the Dung Defender. I think his name is Agram or something. Um, and yeah, I don't know a whole lot about the rest. But this is one of the more secret areas in the game. And I'd never gone down here before. Um, gosh, there's parallax even on these statues or whatever. Like, this game has so much depth and so much of the art. It's really cool. In any case, um, I will see if I can learn more about some of the lore and backstory related to some of that stuff. But in any case, we got some water flowing uh, for some reason. And so perhaps at some point in the future... Ah, and here's some of the water flowing back over to the left in that direction. So it's being sucked out of somewhere, it would appear. And I... where am I? I'm way off the map. I really don't remember this area at all. And so let's just try going... ouch! Downward? <laughs> ah, let's try healing, shall we? And let's try paying a little bit more attention as we go downward. So that we don't fall... Onto spikes. I see there's some geo over there, but I'm pretty low on health, and I'm not great at avoiding spikes all the time in an area like this. So I think I'm going to leave the geo behind and just try to focus on staying alive for the moment. All right, I should really look down before each thing. All right, I fell too far there too, but I got lucky. And down here, looks like we have the remains of a crashed elevator shaft. And when we started at the top, this was kind of a blue area, and it's like faded into gray with like black bubbles and different things. It's crazy. And now where are we? Some new place with a bridge that is mostly out. And oh boy, enemies who are not going to be easy to fight on this terrain. Oh, do I even... I don't have my long nail equipped anymore, do I? Oh, that's a shame, because I put on the stupid... <gasps> Fuk Fukman charm, which I really don't want to be wearing right now, so let's hope we find a bench soon. 
because I had gotten really accustomed to having the Mark of Pride that we got from defeating the Mantis Swords, which gives me an extra long kind of nail reach for fighting bad guys. And so I'm missing that right now. Okay, that works okay. Ouch. All right, thorns. Yeah, and then... All right, let's finish you off somewhere. Here! Great. Okay, there is all kinds of nastiness below me. So let's not fall into that. Yeah, don't want to fall into that. Okay, you. Come attack me. There we go. Oh, crap! Okay. Okay. <laughs> Ah, uh, if I had a little bit more health, I would feel a lot better about this. Okay, made it across the bridge. This is an easier guy to fight, so that's not a problem. This is an easy guy to fight, too. Okay, this is terrific. We like finding easier guys so that we can steal their soul and heal up. Okay, you're not so bad up there, but let's see. Looks like there's some Geo up there as well. All right, I do not have the reach, so be careful. And is it three hits or four hits? Four hits, apparently, to finish you off. Great. I will take the Geo. Any other secrets up here? Doesn't seem to be. All right, if I were a bench, where would I be? That is a great question, Brian. I'm so glad you asked. Uh, looks like there's a ledge here. Let's look down carefully. Okay, here's a place to go. So let us go there. A mechanism with a slot for some kind of pass. All right. I do not appear to be carrying some kind of pass. Is there anywhere over here that I can go? It doesn't appear that I can go this way. How about over here? There is a way down over here. And then there was also a way down over there. Let's take a peek down here. I see signs of a map. Uh, is there more paper this way? It looks like it's a dead end over this way. But it looks like we could find Cornifer. Ancient Basin. All right, so we're in a new area called the Ancient Basin. Oh, and I hear Cornifer. Yep, there he is. Hello. Old caverns, these ones. Can't you just feel the weight of the kingdom above? It's a heavy thing, all right. I reckon not many reach these depths. We're pioneers, you and I, at least in recent history. Purchase a map of the area? Yes, please. We love maps. I like maps in most games. What do we got? Yeah, not a whole lot. Something called the Palace Grounds to the right. Oh, and there's a bench to the bottom left. It's a long trek back to the shop from here. I'll be resting my legs a little bit longer. Not too long, though. I wouldn't want to have the Zelda worrying after me. All right, bottom left. Looks like there's a bench. I guess I've healed up a whole lot better at this point, so the bench is a little bit less necessary, but I still wouldn't mind saving. Oops, hello. And actually, I talk about saving. Like, the game will save automatically. Like, you can quit anywhere, and it's just kind of like the bench turns out to be, like, your next restore point. Um, what do we have here? A toll machine with the symbol of the bench. Yes, let's spend some money. Thank you. Let's have a quick rest. This is a great opportunity. It's not so much the save, but to change out... This, okay, Fook Nest, I'm going to say that one is not worth it. I do not like that one. Let's put the Mark of Pride back on so I get my nice long nail. Yeah, there we go, once again. And then from here, Palace Grounds looks kind of important. And so let's go take a peek over in that direction. And it looks like there's also a way down, potentially, that we could also take a peek into. Yeah, it looks like the way down is here. And what do we have here? We've got tiny little bugs to kill. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Our pure vessel has ascended. Beyond lies only the refuse and regret of its creation. We shall enter that place no longer. And there's a door here that I don't have the ability to open right now. 
All right, that suggests that this is a place that we will have to return to in the future. Let's go and take a peek over at the palace grounds if we can. And perhaps we cannot, because I don't think I can get up here. Actually, hmm, here's a question. I don't actually know the answer to this. I broke that sign. Uh, if I go back off screen and come back, I believe the sign will return. Can I pogo off the sign? No, I did not get any vertical lift to try to jump up there off the sign. Okay. That was something I was curious about. All right, so we're coming back up to where Cornifer was, and... Yeah, I think that's all we'll be able to kind of discover on our own uh, at this point in time. And so I would like, to, I would really like to go back upstairs. I've got 1,800 and something money, and I'm pretty sure 1,800 actually is the number that is needed in order to purchase the lantern uh, back in Sly's shop. Okay, there's a place to fill up on soul over there. That's nice. And so I would really like to head back to Dirtmouth so that I can buy the lantern uh, because there's still some places way up uh, near the start of the map that we haven't yet explored. Um, yeah, I kind of went into this game with kind of a general, I don't know, idea of the path that I wanted to take through and I ended up not taking that path. This is a different path than I took in my own playthrough as well as a different path than I actually kind of like planned. And so it's been, it's been fun. Um, but at this point, we're kind of like down into deep late game stuff. Although, hmm, I'm not sure that I've ever gone down here. This looks like a place where there'd be possibly a secret, although it might just be some Geo. Is there any kind of secret over here? Those bugs down there look <laughs> especially disgusting. All right, you are going to throw your thing at me. Oh, crap. I don't know why I did that. All right, there we go. And my gathering sword should still be able to get those coins. If I go back this way, I have a map that we can climb back up there and apparently that goes to the City of Tears. So I guess that's the way back. I do have more health now. So I'm a little less afraid traveling back across the bridge. Oop. <laughs> Although maybe I should, <sighs> maybe I should still be afraid because apparently I'm awful at it. I'm just going to run past these guys. All right, and so I guess we have to climb and make our way back up here. And it turns out that there's a little secret over here. There's another one of these dream catcher trees that we still don't know what to do with. But at least I have explored that. That's something we come back to in the future. Ouch. Okay. This could really give me some trouble. Oops, okay. I might have to do some editing here depending upon how good my fingers are working today. Okay, I need to, hmm. I just need to do a triangle jump from the right side to the right side without jumping too high at once. There we go. Okay, and now I can jump over here. And now actually this wall will get me all the way up here. Great. And then, unfortunately, I think there's some enemies as I move up a little bit higher up in this room. There was some more. Okay, there's the Geo that I'm still going to ignore. Right, there is the waterway that we switched on something that was, like, pumping water out of somewhere. And here are you. Well, you can actually give me some soul back. And so, not enough soul for me to heal, though. So I ended up just taking more damage. Um, I guess I can go against the wall. Oh, another guy. Yikes. Okay. You need to die. Hey, I said you need to die. <laughs> you have to listen to me. All right. And this brings me back to the City of Tears, did it say? I guess I just never went in this direction. Actually, this is a different portion of the City of Tears than we have been to before, is what it is. So this is the City of Tears, but I'm in a section of the map that I haven't visited before. And I don't think that this section was open to me previously. So this is a good way to go to find something new. Let's see. These guys are not too difficult to deal with. Got some new enemies. And let me kill a few of them and then we'll take a look at the Hunter's Journal to see some of his commentary about these guys. 
Okay, I don't think I'm under attack at all here. So if I open up the Hunter's Journal... He says... Cowardly Husk. Former member of Hallow Nest High Society. Made aggressive by the force inside, old instincts occasionally compel it to run from danger. As well as a gluttonous husk. Uses its corpulent body as a weapon. <laughs> Dung Defender. This guy is so great. Fighting for honor or for loyalty, you may as well be fighting for dust. If you want to kill, do it for your own sake. That is the nature of the true hunter. Yeah, there's a lot of these that I haven't looked at uh, since we first killed them in the Hunter's Journal. But for the most part, I don't know that there's a whole lot that's super interesting in there. Um, and so I'll only kind of occasionally go and look at a Husk Dandy, former member of High Society, limited offensive capability. Yeah, he just started flailing his arms wildly at me. Okay, if we go a bit further to the left, it looks like this will connect to part of the city that I've been to before. And you can see the reason that we didn't come over here before. I just opened a door. There we go. But previously that door had been closed until I just hit this lever. Uh, and so I didn't have access to this portion of the city. So this is a new place to get to. Uh, but now that we have that open... Um... Yeah, there's a whole section above me, as well as a section to the right. I'm going to choose to explore over here to the right first. And see what we can see. Got a nice bridge. Hello! You are big. How about we do this? Yikes! Can I just get over you? Can I go through you? Nope. Okay. Let's hit you with some spells. There we go. Okay, he's gonna attack like that. Okay. Okay. Okay, it looks like I can get at least one shot in. Oh, except for I need to be ready to go in. Okay, and now I can hit you with this again. Gosh, you have a lot of hit points. Okay, and now I can just do with this. Oh, you're still alive. What a guy. All right, I can hit you in the back as you walk away. That's good. Oh, crap. <laughs> All right, yeah, walk away. This guy has got quite the hit points here. There we go. Okay, let's check the Hunter's Journal about this guy. Great Hus Sentry. Animated remains of a great sentry, the most elite of the city's guards, wields a great nail and shell. Its powerful attacks cause heavy damage. Okay, that was definitely one of the more difficult enemies that I've encountered thus far in the game. And I hear another one, but hopefully he's on a ledge above. There's some crazy lit up red flowers over there. Nope, he's right there. But it looks like I can go over this guy's head potentially. Okay, there's the guy with the limited offensive capabilities. He's easy to deal with. This guy's running away because he's cowardly. And this guy, I'm going to have him come run over my way. And then I'm going to go you and go right over his head. Because I do not feel like fighting another one of those guys right now. Hooray! Stagway! How could I have possibly known this was over here? <laughs> ah, that's the reason I was choosing to go right. Because I knew this was over here and unlocking stagways is always a good thing because it gives you fast travel in the future. Except the stragway has a broken bench and a broken bell and is just taken over by some venge flies over here. But don't fret. King's Station is the name of this area on the right hand side of the city. And okay, there's some kind of pile of geo in there that I'd like to get to, but first things first, here is going to be where the actual stag station is. So we've got a bench, map updated, and a toll machine with the symbol of a stag. All right, 300. That actually cost a lot of money to unlock this one, so I'm back below the 1800 that I would need uh, to purchase the lantern over at Sly's, but six more I could get very easily. Little one, we stand in the king's station, named, of course, for the king of Hallownest, he who ordered the building of the stagways and the stations. 
The king never rode the Sagways himself, but I've heard he was a glorious bug to behold, bright and radiant in visage. So much so, it hurt to look at him. Ouch! <laughs> Wear your sunglasses. You here to travel the Sagways? Just hop up. Okay, yep. All right, I know that. Um, let's see. In this room, I can probably fight another guy or two and get the money that I'll need. And I can't remember... Well, actually, there's the Geo that's over here on the right. So how can I get to this? This door is currently locked. So how could I get in there? Well, if you look on the bottom right, it looks like there's kind of a hole. And sure enough, it's just a secret entrance to get in here. All right, and so now I have plenty of Geo, so I could go buy the Lumify Lantern from Sly's shop up in Dirtmouth, and so that's exactly what I'm gonna do next. Oops. And then, hmm. This does give me the opportunity to kind of get back on track in terms of places that I was hoping to go. So maybe we will do what I think I want to do next. But first things first, it's good to spend money uh, while you have it to spend. Because when you spend money for items, if you die in the future, you risk losing your money, but you're not going to lose your items because they're kind of with you for forever in the game. Unless it's consumable stuff like keys. All right, yes, 1800, Lumify Lantern. Take this bright little fellow as your companion. He'll light your way through the thickest darkness. Hooray. All right, that is one of the things that I have been looking forward to having. Did you see that tall cliff beyond the town's graveyard? That's only the base of a much larger peak. There's mines and machinery and all sorts of valuable rock formations inside. Many a traveler through Dirtmouth head straight for it. Uh, he's talking about what's over to the right. Um, yeah, but I think I actually I want to go back to King's Station. Now that I've had a chance to spend my money... Uh, because I know of another kind of secret secret thing, secret place uh, that I'd like to go. That I don't even remember the reason that I wanted to go this way now. Um, I just remember thinking that once you get to King's Station, you should definitely go this way. After my last playthrough. <laughs> uh, and so basically, in this stag station, it's kind of all broken down. Oops. And just has these bench flies in it. We can hop down into the water and sneak underneath. Oh, I see a grub. Uh, I did not even remember that he is here, but I see him just down on the bottom right hand side of the screen, hiding in the darkness. Got so excited by seeing him, I got hit by a bell fly. There's another one. Ouch. Oh, gosh. I thought I was going to hit that guy. <laughs> <laughs> so happy. All right, I rescued another one. Um, yeah, I was just back in Dirtmouth, but I didn't rescue the Grubfather. Right! I think this is the reason I wanted to come this way. There's a bunch of glass containers here that look kind of reminiscent. Oh, right, but these doors are shut. Right, so there isn't really anything I can do here yet. But that will be an important place to go to in the future. Oh, crap. Ah, oh, oh. Just in the nick of time. Right. This area. Kingdom's Edge. All right, apparently we're exploring a number of new areas today. This is a crazy area. Um, Let's see. We don't have a map of this area yet, right? Right. And there's like the corpse of something that just fell from somewhere above. And there's like a giant bee thing here. What does the hunter have to say about this? It's a boo fly. Large, docile creatures that peacefully buzz around the edge of the caverns in the kingdom's edge. <laughs> he was peacefully buzzing around. And so what did I do? I stomped on him multiple times and killed him. That's what you get for being peaceful. I don't remember a whole lot of what's over here, so this will be fun to explore together on camera. Oh, 
it's going to be a dead end because it's a pool full of acid that I will be unable to cross. Let's see. Can I go to the left-hand side? Is there anything over here? There's a wall. Can I jump up the wall? Yeah. Okay, it looks like I can break this. So let's climb up here. Oh, look at this. A wanderer's journal. Very nice. I have a feeling that's the only thing that's there, but that's a nice little bonus. I had not found that previously. All right, we don't have a map. I don't know why I keep looking at the map. So let's head downwards and see what's down here. Oh, I hear Cornifer. He's really close. Oh, I see his map. It's right here. Ha! Isn't this a cozy hole? I've been venturing about that wilderness beside here and thought a moment's break was well called for. The landscape's rather serene at this side of the city, though the inhabitants are as ferocious as ever. Purchase a map of the area? I don't have enough geo. Wow. Ah, <laughs> uh, I understand. I'd give you the map as a gift, but I don't think my wife would be very happy if I did. All our food is made of geo, as they say. <laughs> All right, looks like I have to earn a little bit more money if I want to buy the map. X. Okay. Ouch. Hey, give me some geo. Oh, I fell in the... <laughs> All right, and now I'm down at the bottom over here. All right, I think this guy, when I killed him before, dropped a lot of geo. Of course, it just fell on the acids. That doesn't help me, because the uh, swarm is incapable of getting the geo out of the acid. Oh, darn it. All right, I need to not die is one of the things I definitely need to do. So did this guy take four hits? So I think he has two hits left. So I'm going to do that. And then... Okay, he still has another hit left, apparently. I'm going to try to hit him. Okay, at least when he was on top of, yeah, a little platform so that I could actually gather some of the geo. Okay, he did not drop as much geo as I was hoping for. Perhaps there'll be some richer creatures over this way. What are these guys? They have a lot of hit points, that's for sure. A hopper! What a great name. Very appropriate. Yeah, that took like six or seven hits, but they are dropping a lot of geo. And so my geo problems may be solved shortly. What was it, 130? I don't remember how much it was that I needed. But it looks like I'll be able to make up that much money. Ouch. All right, let's heal. Now let's learn the name of this creature I just killed. Primal Aspid. Oh, the hopper. He's coming for me. They can hop up. <laughs> it should be no surprise. They could hop up the ledge I was standing on. All right, let's heal up once again. Any more hoppers? Yes. Give me all your geo. All your geo are belong to me. Okay, now we're definitely gonna have enough geo so we can go back to Corner Fur and buy the map. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and do that right now. Because having the map will make it easier to see perhaps where some certain branching paths are. Although Corner Fur's maps don't always map out everything. Looked like there was something up there as well. And yeah, another corpse that I guess rained down from above. Oh, crap. Yeah. Okay. Cornifer is a little bit higher up. It's a little bit difficult in the kind of like snow and ash that's falling down or whatever to discern exactly where the platforms are that I can jump on. Here it is. Yes, this is it. Landscape's rather serene, the side of the city. Right, okay, we already read that. Purchase a map, it was 112. I have plenty of money now. Great. Kingdom's Edge. Wow. It's pretty big. There was a bench further over to the right in the direction that I was going, though. Oops, crap, 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 crap. I don't remember where the platforms are. Fall onto the platforms. So yeah, let's head over to the right and see if we can get over to that bench. And will the hoppers respawn? They do respawn. Okay, so these are kind of like basic enemies. Well, they're very good to farm for money, it seems, so I don't mind because they're relatively straightforward to battle just by repeatedly swinging the nail. And so that's a good way to gain some money in case we need it for any toll booze in the future. 
while we're in this area. <laughs> They're slowly pushing me back, though, with all the knockback. Alright, there we go. Alright, and you were a primal aspid or whatever you were, and I think you were just three hits? No, you're four hits, okay. So yeah, definitely monsters. They're taking more hits. Uh, I have relatively uh, non-difficult attack patterns, I would say, so far, so I'm not feeling terribly threatened. I'm gonna head over to the bench first, and then we'll come back and explore. There's somewhere else to go over there. The bench will make me- okay, hello. Crap. <laughs> Alright, we have like a giant hopper. And, okay. He had trouble hopping up all the way up there. Let's actually heal before I try to fight him again. Oh, crap. And you know what? Let's hit him with the spell. Ah! <laughs> or, let's completely miss the spell. That's also a strategy. It's a bad strategy, but it is a strategy. Okay, and he can hop up here. Okay, hop, hop, hop. Uh, can I juggle him? Okay. <laughs> He's dead. And I'm not unhappy about that. Uh, great hopper. Okay. Trying to crush prey beneath its body. And he just, like, fell from, like, somewhere out of the ceiling out here. But I should be near a bench soon. Will you come down towards me if I do this? Yeah. Yeah, come down towards me so I can hit you. Thank you. Oops. Hey, I said so I can hit you. Not so that you can hit me. No. All right. Thorns of Agony <laughs> are <laughs> very useful to me, given how much damage I take. But they're reflecting damage back on the enemies, and that's super great. Hey, here we go. I found a strategy against these guys. <laughs> Gotta love it. Okay. Yikes. Okay. If he can sense me, then I guess he tries to attack me. Otherwise, he just goes back into a random hopping pattern. Okay, I can heal back up, so let's do that. And then let's go get this guy aggro on me again, please. Why are you hopping back backwards? Oh gosh, there's another one. <laughs> Alright, come, come. Yep, that's right, stand right there. It's a great place to stand. I've got, I've got candy. <laughs> Uh, I feel a little bit bad about cheesing these guys, but I'll feel more adventuresome after I go sit on the bench over there. Alright. And let's actually... Ah, oh, darn it, I missed again. Let's actually try to hit him. I missed again, I don't believe it. There we go. That time I hit him. Still didn't do enough damage to kill him, though. Alright, hey, buddy. Oh, crap. All right, thorns will finish him off, apparently. How close am I to this bench? It's right over here. Oh! It's next to a house. What do we have here? <laughs> Nailmaster Oro. Have we heard that name before? Hmph. How did you find me down here where the world ends? Yes, I know why you're here. You came to learn a nail art from the legendary Nailmaster Oro. It is the law of the great nail sage that I must pass down my teachings to those who are worthy. But no law forbids me from extracting payment for my time. If you truly wish to train under me, prove it with Geo. Learn the Nailmaster art? Oh, I really want to, but I don't have enough Geo. Those who do not share their strength will never learn. My master used to say that. Substitute Geo for strength, and you'll have my own views on the matter. Be gone! Alright, I've never visited this guy before when I didn't have enough money. Um, well, the good news is, we just sat at a bench, and there are some enemies. Oh, there's still a way to go over here. This is going off of Cornifer's map. Uh, there are some enemies that are very profitable, uh, but I guess let's keep exploring for the moment. <laughs> that doesn't look scary at all. I see, and here's a soul well to fill up our soul, because we might be, like me, out of soul and want to do this. Kablam! And you need some soul in order to do that downward smash move. Oh crap, okay. Just stalactites. Okay, more soul. Great. I see, another place to smash downwards. Is there another direction to go? It seems weird that they say smash down and then just smash down again, but... I guess so. Oh, hoppers, hoppers, hoppers. Oh, and I hear grub. <laughs> All right. The grub sounds like he's over in that direction, maybe. 
Okay, stalactites that I managed to avoid mostly due to luck. The grub. It sounds like he's over there. Can I jump up here? Yes. Is there a wall that's breakable here? I don't see one, actually. Yeah, I don't think any of those walls are breakable. So how else could I get to a grub? That I can only hear over in this region. Maybe I missed another place to smash downwards over here? Or maybe I did miss something over here? Oh, maybe he's further below. Because I don't hear him up there. So maybe there's a way to go down from over here. So I might be looking in the wrong... Oh, crap. Okay, the hoppers sometimes fall out of the ceiling from weird places that I don't see ahead of time. So we need to be wary of that. Basically, monsters kind of appearing from effectively nowhere. All right, ouch. Uh, let's do this. Heal back up. Oh, that was a good dodge. Hooray. Looks like there could be secrets hidden over there. Uh, nothing right there. Okay, more soul, but I don't need it right at the moment. More random stalactites. Hey, cut it out. You're mean. Alright, let's go ahead and use the soul now that I used it to heal. And, okay, another place to smash downwards. So we just keep going deeper. Whoa, much deeper. Oh gosh. Oh boy. Okay. Um. Oh jeez. <laughs> I don't like this. Ah. Alright, I managed to smash the other guy over there. There we go, okay. I feel safe. <laughs> Let's heal. There is a hopper up there. That's okay. You I can deal with. Great. Gonna heal back up again. Oh! It's a grub. And a bunch of stalactites. Hooray! I've rescued another. Okay, we're rescuing a lot of these guys. And that might be where I heard them, because it looks like that's the area above, potentially. Okay, so that's good. Perhaps one mystery solved. And these guys do give me a lot of, um... Uh, what do you call back? Because I have to hit them with my nails so many times. Alright, now unfortunately there's a big hopper over here. And this place is mean. Can I hit him? Oops. Alright, that was a big waste. Let's just try to avoid him, I think. Ah, darn it. Alright, I'm taking some damage, but we're just going to run over here. Darn it. Can I possibly... No, I'm going to take too much damage. Ah, I'm almost dead. Uh, there is a bench very nearby, so if I do die, it's not the worst thing ever. Oh, he can just hop on the spikes? That's not very fair. Um, I think he somehow kind of got stuck in the spikes, though, because he wasn't actually jumping on me there. So I'm just barely alive. And now I need to fit through this hole. Let's actually try to time it well. There we go. Oh, and I hear another one. Okay, but this is another one that I can cheese. That's my favorite kind of giant hopper. It's one that I can cheese, and I can actually suck some soul out of him and heal back up. Okay, so this works back in my favor. We're managing to stay alive. I would love it, though, if you were dying. Thank you. Okay, you come down here where I can hit you. Thank you. Ouch. Ouch. All right. Thorns helped a little bit there. Let's run over here and hide and heal. Then finish this guy off. There we go. All right. Well, I'm gaining Geo. I already forgot how much Geo. I think it might have been 800 uh, that Nailmaster uh, Oro wanted in order to learn. Oh, gosh. You are a good shot, sir. Wow. <laughs> I took quite the unnecessary amount of damage right there. Okay, let's do this. There we go. And 
I hear a bunch of buzzing. I don't know how well that's going to come through in the audio, but there's definitely an audible hum in the background that sounds like a swarm of bees. Oh, and there's little bees. Hiveling. Smallest of the hive's inhabitants. Oh, what do we have over here? Ooh, what is this? Quick slash! <gasps> Quick slash! I forgot that this was here. Born from imperfect, discarded nails that have been fused together, the nails still long to be wielded allows the bearer to slash much more rapidly with their nail. So right now, if I mash on the button as fast as possible, that's how fast I can swing my nail. With this charm equipped, I can swing it much faster and deal a whole lot more damage or DPS. That's a really cool charm to get. Um, and I look forward to making back to a bench so I can use it. All right, first, let's try to deal. Ugh, come on, Brian, just avoid his, there we go. Just avoid the shots that this guy's firing and then land some targets on him, maybe. There we go. Oh boy. This area is more stressful than I was expecting. All right, avoided the stalactites, great. Um, oh, here's another example of this just looked dark when we saw it from the outside, but now that we're inside, we can see that there's a shortcut. I really like the way the lighting and the camera works in this game for things like that. Oh, no, not you again. Oh, because I sat at a bench, right? Okay, we're just going to go past you and past you and get back to the bench because I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> okay, that heals me back up. And do I want to wear a quick slash? How many notches does it take? It takes three. Um, I don't know that I have three that I'm willing to give up right now. I need to get some more notches, which means we probably need to get back to uh, some of the places where we can spend money to buy some notches. Okay. Um, hmm, you guys are just going to respawn when I go back to the bench. How do I think my way through this? Can I hit you over here? Actually, I guess I can do that. Oh, gosh. Go away, go away, go away, go away. Ah. <laughs> uh, I'm an embarrassment to players everywhere. <laughs> oh, no! He found his way up here. Wow. And I managed to miss again. Oh, and now I'm going to die. Phew! Oh, I might not die. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, and I don't have my 800 to spend on Nail Master Oro yet, either. Let's see if there's another direction that I can go. Oops, wrong button. Let's look at the map. Um, it looks like there was somewhere kind of left and up. I'm gonna have to deal with these guys somehow. Let's see if I can deal with them just by avoidance. Ouch. Okay, ouch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm running. Great, you cannot make it up here, and now I can avoid you over here. Okay. And then I think there might be one more, yeah, right there. But I think I can just avoid him as well. And go up here. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. Oh, hey, Geo. Just what I need. Thank you. Still have the Gathering Swarm on. That was like 44 Geo. That's not bad. Let's check out what's up here. Hey! Easier enemies that still give me a lot of Geo. Thank you. And... Wow, have we seen this before? I can't dash through it. Can't hit it with my sword. Uh, as a matter of fact, there's just not any current way that I can get past that. And I don't even know what you call that. It's some kind of barrier that we don't have the ability to pass through yet. So I'll have to make a note that it's there. So in the future, when we think we can deal with it, we can come back. Uh, oops, crap. Okay, let's heal. Alright, let's deal with the hopper before we do any more healing. I could really use another nail upgrade because these guys take a lot of hits to kill. Alright, what do we have over here? More hoppers. Alright, well please give me your Geo. 
I have a nail art that I would like to learn before the end of this episode, if I can. All right, you are dead, sir. More stalactites, not too worried about them. It looks like there might be something above me over here. I can't quite get a good enough look. What do we have over here? Oh, another place to... Interesting. Was that just a shortcut, or was there uh, another side passage? There is another side passage. Oops. <laughs> Wanderer's Journal and three stalactites that tried to kill me on the way in. All right, great. Fair enough. We've collected a lot of Wanderer's Journals at this point. All right, another hopper. Give me your monies. Oh, I hear grub. I love saving grubs. Oh, hello. We got the hunter's notes for killing enough hoppers. This hopping thief's belly is full of the blood it has stolen from other beasts. If you hold it above fire, the belly will grow and grow until it explodes in a steaming shower of fluids. Ah. Sounds delicious. Hello. There's a secret over here. Is this going to lead me to the grub? Perhaps. Can I do this? Yes, it didn't quite kill you, but I'm going to do that again, because I don't like you. Oh, it still didn't kill you? Really? That's not very nice. Please be dead. Ouch. Oh, come on, Brian. <laughs> ah, I have an embarrassment. There we go. Okay, he's dead. The grub is going to be safe. I managed to avoid the stalactites by not noticing them and hoping they didn't fall on my head. If that's not skill, I would say I don't know what is, but I think I do know what is, and it's not that. But I got lucky, and we're still alive. And we're getting close to our 800 money that Nailmaster Oro wants. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh gosh, I'm about to die. Let's go. Heal. All right, is he still alive up here? Or did I manage to kill him? I didn't even, I guess I did because there was a bunch of money that all of a sudden came flying towards me. All right, you guys I should be able to kill. Great, I can heal back up. All right, well slowly but surely, we're actually exploring this area, even though that's not exactly what my current goal was going to be. All right, I need to not get pushed back into the spikes. Okay, great. And kind of climbing our way back up. So if we take a look at where we are in the map over here, this is the uh, acid pit that I couldn't get across from the other side, I believe. But rather than continue exploring that way, I'm gonna explore this way. Can I pogo on your head? Yes. Is it smart? Maybe. Probably not. Let's heal. Ouch. Ouch. All right. I'm not playing very well against those guys. What do we have? Oops, I saw the stalactites. Okay. Okay, over here there's a place that I can hide behind the corner. So that's nice. If I can't defeat you in normal combat, I will be sneaky and hide around corners. All right, over here. Can I jump off this wall? I can't grip on this wall on the right-hand side. And I can't jump high enough to get up there. I guess if I had kept that guy around, I could have pogoed up his head. Pogoed up his head. <laughs> pogoed off of his head in order to get up there. But it doesn't look like that's an option for me now. If you look in the background, there's something light gray that looks almost like the like spine of a giant beast or something. I don't know that I... Oh, crap! Hopper, you're back. Whew. All right, well, at this point, if we headed back to the bench and Nailmaster Oro... Oh, gosh. Oro. I think we would have enough money because these hoppers keep respawning. So I think that's going to be my new destination, and then that's probably somewhere where we could finish things up for the episode. I don't, until I talk to the bench again, I won't have a chance to update the map with all the places that I've been. Right, that was the Wanderer's Journal. Here's another hopper. 
who I actually want more for the soul than anything else, and then I can heal. Ah, darn it. Stalactites. Why you gotta be? Let's heal again. Great. Let's heal again. Okay, and now I should have enough uh, health left that I should be able to run past, ouch, run past the big giant hoppers who are over here. Uh, except for they're actually down on this screen, I believe. Yes, now I just go over to the right. The big hoppers are right over here. We'll get back to the bench. We'll talk to Oro. We'll give him his money. And he'll teach us a nail art. Oh boy. Run, run, run. I did it! Hooray! <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm kind of further ahead than I intended to be in terms of, like, progression in the map. And there's still some early areas that it would be helpful to go back to. Huh? Got but here we are. So, what will it be, Traveler? Will you pay the price asked of you, or will you leave this place unenlightened? Learn the Nail Master's art. Yes. All right, Oro. Show me what you got. <laughs> Mastered the Dash Slash. Hold X to concentrate energy in the nail. Release the button while dashing to perform the Dash Slash. Hell is I must say, you are an excellent pupil. Your skill with the nail and your thirst to become stronger, you remind me of my brothers. Brothers, you say? I have taught you all I can. Go back into the world, traveler, and leave me to my solitude. Bam. Finner. All right. Bam. Finner. And that's all that he says. Anything else in here? I can break his stuff. <laughs> that's not very nice. He just taught me a cool new trick. That Let's try it out. If I hold the button... And then dash and release. What was it? Hold the button. And hmm. Oops. Let's uh let's take a look at my inventory and figure out how I operate that thing. Dash slash. Hold X. Release and right trigger. I see. It sounds like I release at the same moment that I dash. There we go. Wow. That is pretty cool. Can I do it while I'm jumping? Yes. Neat. All right. Well, we learned a new trick. Uh, I think that'll be where we finish things up. And next time, I think I'll probably head back into the city and try to go back to some earlier places uh, that we still need to visit uh, because the enemies down here have been really difficult. I hope, as always, that you guys are having a great day. And I'll see you again soon with more Hollow Knight. Bye-bye.